we're gonna leave Thailand. Plans change as they do. Excuse me, sir, we, we are looking for a top silo. Hey, James, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. Today, it's an emotional episode. We're gonna leave Thailand for a holiday to Manila. We're gonna arrive into Manila. That's gonna be the episode arriving in Manila, in the Philippines. And we are at Savannah Boom Airport in Bangkok. It's gonna be the first time after having a quick visit in the Netherlands, my home country, to visit another Southeast Asian country since the pandemic. So today we're flying with Philippine Airlines. We're arriving right in the morning in Manila. It's gonna be exciting. And we're not doing this alone, we're doing this with Ilona! Hey! In this last year, I've been several times on Savannah Boom Airport. That's actually really busy. I'm starting this video saying it's an emotional episode because yeah, I've got a special bond, a special feel with Thailand and leaving it now only for a few weeks. That's a little sad, but I know the Philippines is coming and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. It's the first time, the very first time for the both of us. So hopefully you join the journey. Let's go. We will arrive 5.30 in the morning and I'm not too sure champs, I've never been to Manila, but I hope it's still a little bit of chaos in the morning. Bangkok is slowly waking up at 5.30 in the morning. So maybe Manila is doing this as well. I'm not too sure. I'm really excited about this trip. We're gonna be visiting a few islands. We're gonna see some cool beaches, some jungle. Uh, there will be lots of local interviews. We're meeting people on the street. This channel is based in the north of Thailand, but I like to show you Southeast Asia as well. And this is the first big trip outside of Thailand. Are you ready for the Philippines, baby? Woo! Somebody come, sir. So what are you saying hello in, in the Philippines? Hello, uh, I say hello. It's just Mabuhay. Yeah. Mabuhay? Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Thank you so yeah, much. From where you come from? We come from the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're living in the north of Thailand. But oh. we're, we try to show the Philippines now. So. Oh, good. Hopefully. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy. How do I say thank you? Salamat. 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 Mm. Salamat. 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 The, the journey started. The journey just started and already uh, got held by some friendly Filipino, Filipinas. It's a three and a half hour flight out of Thailand and domestic flights within Thailand, there's no food and beverages allowed, still not. Here it is, but you have to wear, or remain wearing your mask if you're not eating or drinking. It's really at least 50% uh, full this airplane is, so it's getting there, James, it's getting there. Goodbye, Bangkok. Hello, Manila. When you want to go to the Philippines right now, you have to apply for a health pass. This is what we've done. It takes a few hours and then you get an email that you are approved for this health pass. Uh, you only have to f fill in a few details where you're staying, uh, upload your vaccines. If you have a booster, you don't need to get a PCR test. I don't have a booster personally. I've got two vaccinations. So I had to, uh, in Bangkok, I had to get a PCR test done and luckily that result was negative. Uh, also here on the airplane we have to fill in a, an arrival card and a luggage card for customs. And I believe that's pretty much it champs. <laughs> There's some uh, food on the way, some drinks on the way and uh, this flight is only three and a half hours. But um, yeah, we're gonna arrive really early in the morning. I don't think we're gonna sleep a lot in this three and a half hours, but uh, we'll see. Only three hours left. We could choose between stir-fried beef and uh, grilled chicken. Oh, look at that. Mm. Got some broccoli with it. The meat is okay. You're not gonna get much better on an airplane, on a budget, economy glass. I don't think so. Anyway, this video is not about the food, eating, this uh, video is about arriving in Manila, so uh, let's uh, see you at the landing. Thank you so much. Salamat, salamat. Welcome to the Philippines. Good morning. <laughs> and it is morning because it's 4.30, not even 4.30. And the captain is saying, 
It is already 27 degrees, so it's gonna be a hot day. We all have to show the health pass. We just scanned the QR code that we got uh, from the online registration. And now we go through immigration. We're through. We're through. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, whoa. I know in Schiphol in Amsterdam, they have problems with the luggage, but looks like uh, it's a little bit out of control here as well. Okay, there we go, champs. Wow. No, kapkoen krab. Oh, kapkoen krab. I'm saying, I keep saying kapkoen krab, but uh, yeah, we are not in Thailand anymore. Wow. We're gonna have to get used to that, I think. Thank you. No chaos yet. No taxi drivers yet waiting for us. But what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna take a bus down because we're gonna have. We want to have the local experience, so we're going to take the bus down to Makati. And uh, that's where we stay. Still a little bit of a walk. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello how are you? That's a big, that's a big gun. <laughs> Plans change as they do. Uh, also here in the Philippines, they're saying to us, and also even the airport police are saying to us, that there are no direct buses to Makati, where we're going. Uh, we had to walk. On Google Maps as well saying uh, we had to walk the last bit but apparently there's no buses going there anyway I thought it straight away like oh there might be a scam I'm not too sure like there may, there may be buses or maybe not we didn't do any research doesn't really matter we might end up just taking a taxi I don't, I don't know uh, but it's really early and we asked for our early check-in and the hotel got back to us and saying like oh you're not able to do an early check-in because we're fully booked so we probably just got to explore Makati a little bit, have some breakfast, have some proper Filipino breakfast and then uh, finish up the day. We thought it was a good idea to get some cash out straight away but the cash machines that we tried here cannot get the amounts out that we want. Do we want to take a big amount out because they have fees at the ATM like they have also in Thailand. So that's why we want to get some extra cash but what we did, plan B, we uh, got or Ilona got us a grab that is connected to a credit card so we don't have to pay with cash. Hello sir. How are you? Oh wow. We like to get some breakfast after you dropped us off. Where where can we or like what do we need to eat? You think? Tapselog. Tapselog. It's tapa of horse and egg and fried rice. Oh, That's tapselog. We're gonna search for tapselog in Makati, downtown Manila. We dropped some luggage at the guest house. We couldn't check in yet, they're fully booked. So that's a good thing. Anyway, Louis, the taxi driver, made us aware of a beautiful dish, a Filipino dish, tapsilo. I never had it, Ilona never had it. Um, but we're gonna have to try it. We've been asking around on the streets where to find it, just around the corner. We really don't know what it is, but we're gonna have to find out. We're gonna tell you in a minute. If it's going to be tasty or not. Excuse me, sir. We, we are looking for a tapsilot. Tapsilot. Mm. You want the authentic one or the... <laughs> yeah, the authentic one, really. When you turn left, you'll see a, a sign. It's a restaurant. It's called Tapakin. Okay. They have tapsilot there. Tapakin. 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 Yeah. Tapakin. It's, it's a big red sign. It's Amazing. Tapakin. Well, yeah. good luck. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, I'm looking for a tapsilot. Tapsilot. Yeah. What one? Tapaking. Okay, ah, tapaking. Is it good? It's good yeah. Is it the tapaking is good? Pricey. Oh, it's pricey. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, cup. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, cup. I think thank you, cup. Cup, cup, cup. We're not in Thailand anymore. We're actually in the Philippines. We are in Manila, champs. How do you say thank you in Filipino? I think it sounds similar, and you can correct me. Salamat. Wow, thank you. Good morning. Hello, how are you? You don't have tapsilo? Uh, we don't have, uh, we don't call it tapsilo. It's tapaking classic. It includes uh, sunny side of egg, garlic rice, and tapa. But we have different flavors of tapa, sir. 
Oh. We have spicy, we have savory, we have shredded and adobo black classic sir. Oh, okay. So it's not the traditional Filipino style. It is a Filipino style, sir, yeah. but we have varieties, right? Ah. So, so our visita, like you, can yeah. choose different kinds of tapa. Not only one kind of tapa, but ah. a different kind of tapa. Sir. Okay. What, what does visita mean? Visita means customer to us. We ah. call our customers in a new calling, which is visita, which is much more Filipino, warm, yeah. welcoming visita. to our customers. We call them visita. Oh. Visita, wow. No, we love it. Can we have? Shall we do one uh, double classic? Yeah. Okay, and then uh, a uh, crispy shredded, please. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. We didn't do any research of Manila. We only knew that there is an area here that is visited a lot. So we thought, you know what? New country. We go somewhere touristic, um, where it's clean and safe. But I wanted to take you to a traditional. Filipino breakfast and I've got the feeling that we are in a big chain but it's gonna be delicious it's gonna be delicious <laughs> for sure but we asked the local we asked like four or five locals on the way here and they all send us they all pointed us to this restaurant I mean it's probably gonna be tasty but I'm not too sure how traditional this is gonna be if you're watching and you're new to the channel and you're just popping in because this is about the Philippines or you're a Filipino please leave something in the comments because are we at the right address here or is this a place that normally Filipinos not going? Um, yeah, I'm really wondering. We've got crispy shredded beef. Cheers. Mm. Nice. Tastes good. Something similar to this you can buy in Thailand as well. Yeah. Also in Indonesia to be really honest. It's called Muyong. Ambon, I think it's called. In, oh, really? Yeah. We're gonna give you some more local, proper local experiences. Now we are like in an air conditioning um, building in um, an expensive area of the city. We're gonna go a little bit, uh, yeah, a bit more local, I think, in uh, future episodes for sure. This is the good stuff. This is what you want. Very tasty, tender. Jim, stop packing. I feel a little bit disappointed, not by the food, not by the service. The people are really nice, but this is a food chain and we didn't want to eat at a food chain. Now we want to go for a proper traditional Filipino food and I've got the feeling we didn't really find it here. It was delicious, it was really good, but not the proper traditional local food, I think. The dishes were local but we can get more traditional, I believe. So in the next few weeks, we will be in the Philippines. Anyway, the first impressions of the city are pretty good. The people are lovely. It is, uh, there's uh, quite a bit of air pollution. It's a bit smoggy, but other than that, um, yeah, I don't know. We, we chose for an area where it's uh, maybe even a little Western standard. I believe. Thank you for watching till the very end. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button so you're able to follow the journey. The journey in the Philippines, but also the journey in Southeast Asia. We're based in the north of Thailand. I would like to say from the heart of the Philippines, the capital city, Manila. Bye for now and stay champs.